So today, I'll be showing you the easiest and the best way to enable text-to-speech on your Samsung Galaxy S25 or S25 Ultra. Now, text-to-speech is basically a feature that allows your phone to read out text for you. So you could be in a web page trying to read an article. Instead of just reading by looking at it, you can have your phone read out the article. You can have the phone read the article out loud to you. So to do this, the easiest way to do it is to use a, sp a special function that you have to install from the Google Play Store. Now, keep in mind, this is a legit application from Google. So if you go into the Google Play Store, just go ahead and install an app called the Android Accessibility Suite. So I'm just going to search the whole name, Accessibility Suite, OK? Right, this is the app you're looking for the Android Accessibility Suite, and you can see it's by Google LLC. Nothing to worry about. Just go ahead and install that app straight into your phone. Good. Now that we've installed it, you can't access it from here. You can access it from the Accessibility menu. So let's go into Settings. Under Settings, scroll down to Accessibility. Tap on that. And then under Accessibility, go to Installed Apps. And then you should see the option select to speak okay so now you can tap on that and then first thing you gotta do is create a shortcut okay so if you enable that then you can uh, allow select to speak to have a full control of your device just tap on allow and then let's use an accessibility gesture okay now since i'm using gestures on my phone i'm just gonna allow this if i use buttons then I'll have the option to put an accessibility button in the bottom right corner of my screen. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and en enable that and then tap OK, okay? So I can bring upon select to speak anytime I just use the gesture. Now, there are also a couple of settings here that you can change. You can change the reading voice. You can have the text to speech settings, which include speech rate, the pitch of the voice, the language, the preferred engine. Now here in preferred engine is going to default to Samsung text to speak engine. Now I'm going to change that to Google because Google is much better and much cleaner. And uh, do I want to allow this to work in the background? I can say yes, because allowing this gives you the ability to open an article or a web page or a document. And as your phone is reading the document to you, you can just exit and have it read in the background and you can go ahead and do other things on your phone. Okay, so this is very important. Then also you can give it the option to read text on images. Okay, so that's personal preference. Now, once everything is ready, as you can see, let's go ahead and open something that we want read out for us. Okay, so I'm just gonna go into Chrome. Let's go and open any story, any web page. Let's open this one on Business Daily. So let's say I want this article read out to me. It's a short article, this one right here. Let's have text to speech, read it out to me. So I'm just gonna activate it using the shortcut I created. And you can see it appears in the bottom uh, right corner of my screen. Again, I can tap on this little arrow. Toggle menu, B. And see the settings and have the same settings, okay? So let's go back. Let me just close this ad first. And then now for to make it read it for us. BDO, subscribe, sign in, a paper, business daily, prime, SGR passenger traffic falls for first time since COVID pandemic. I can pause. I can stop it from reading by just tapping on the stop button. And then let's try again and see if it's going to read in the background. Toggle menu, BDO, subscribe, Sign in, a paper, business daily, prime. So as you can see, I can have it read in the background as I do other things on my phone and it's very, very nifty. And that's for me is the most convenient way of enabling text to speech on the Samsung Galaxy S25 and S25 Ultra. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section and we'll try to uh, respond to you and have a chat there. Good luck.